Good morning. Uh, thank you for this comment. I've actually seen a variation of this statement around over the weekend, and I haven't seen any videos or interviews um, directly that has that have said this. So if you could send something along, I mean, you being anyone who's watching this could send something along. My DMs are open. Um, my email is in my bio. I'd appreciate it. Also, I don't speak Nepali, so if it is in Nepali and you could translate, I'd really appreciate it as well. Unfortunately, we can't not let him go to Nepal right now until the case is solved because not only is Naresh not in custody, he has not been named a person of interest by the police either, so he is completely free to go. With that said, I do believe Manassas Park Police are looking to, into him very closely, and I am guessing that by now they've gotten the necessary warrants to check his phone, check her phone, hopefully the Tesla. Um, I know that neighbors have said that they've been interviewed. It looks like, you know, the um, their cameras have been checked and business cameras have been checked. I did hear that from somebody who does work at a business nearby that police have been asking for their CCTV as well. So all of this is good. They're obviously building the case, but the question is, will they do it fast enough? All of that is to say, you know, I've had problems with how police have handled this investigation from the beginning, the very beginning, like when they did the welfare check. How do you do a welfare check on a person without actually talking to the person? Not to mention the fact that when I attended that search at Blooms Park on Thursday, there was not a single police officer there. And we, we talked about this in the podcast, like they didn't need to lead the search. I understand that they want their resources to be used elsewhere, but to not even have a single officer attend is a bad look, honestly. And no, officers were not there despite what you may hear on WTOP or wherever. So that's where we are right now on Monday morning. Um, not a whole lot of new information has come out in the last couple of days, either than I did get it confirmed by somebody, again, who speaks Nepali, that when Mamta spoke with her parents on July 30th, it was actually July 29th over here on the East Coast of the United States. So now we've moved the timeline up from July 28th as somebody other than Naresh having contact with her to July 29th as someone other than Naresh having contact with her. However, we don't have anybody who's seen her on the 30th or the 31st besides Naresh. And so that July 31st date of when she went missing, please keep sharing Mamta's story. I've seen big creators on here start to pick it up, which is great. Um, let's keep her name out there, keep her story out there and uh, get this solved as soon as possible, get her home to her baby. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask and I'll answer whatever I know.